Season four content leaks have been recently coming out. How the MCC is going to get a massive upgrade on the Series X. MCC was actually deleted off of Twitch and how to get Halo 5 for free. Tons of news in this video guys, so stay tuned to the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. We've had a recent just a bunch of little bits of news kind of floating around when it comes to MCC and also a little bit of Halo 5 as well for Season 4 content and everything with the Halo 4's flighting. So I figured I'd combine them all together into this video guys. So we got, like I said, we got Xbox Series X upgrades up to 120 frames going on with that. Halo Infinite Armor being part of Season 4 for MCC seems to look like it along with some Halo Online content and you can get Halo 5 for free. So let's jump right into it. So let's jump into the most pertinent news that's happening right now. MCC was deleted off of Twitch. Like you can't search MCC anymore. You can search individual games from Halo like Halo 5, Halo 4, Halo 3 and all those other games but no longer is MCC part of Twitch. They completely removed the category. Apparently what's going on is that Recently, Twitch did a bit of a inventory and they decided to remove a lot of the games that they consider to be kind of like culmination kind of uh, games, something like Orange Box and stuff like that from I have to hold some team games mixed in there as well. Uh, they I guess they thought that MCC was a bit of a collection kind of game that wasn't really its own game. And so recently on Twitter, Tashi replied saying, we've already emailed Twitch about this info to them. Hopefully it comes up again soon. Responding to another tweet, he said, we have asked that they just add MCC back. We see MCC as its own game through and through. Obviously that's very important. MCC was definitely the most popular game being streamed for the Halo community and have that being taken away is, uh, well, quite painful. And the way 343 has been treating the MCC recently has been like its own game. And so hopefully we get to see that put back in soon. I have a feeling it will, but at the moment of making this video, there's no longer MCC category, so a lot of people have been streaming other categories of Halo just to make sure they can get some views. Dividing up our Halo's Twitch community even more. So that's gonna be a little tricky there for the next few weeks or so, guys. Talking about the MCC, we recently got a news update talking about the features that are actually be coming to the MCC for the Xbox Series X and S as well. Uh, I did this actually in a Q&A video talking about will you see improvements to the MCC with uh, the bringing over to the new generation. I didn't think so. But apparently, right after I made that video, guys, and uploaded it, uh, Xbox Twitter went out and said this. It's time to dust off the old needler, fully optimized for on Series S and X, 120 frames in campaign and multiplayer, split screen improvements up to 4K on Series X, available for the existing owners or those with Xbox Game Pass on November 17th. So guys, you actually have some nice features coming to the Xbox Series X and S, when the console finally launches on November 10th, it will actually have some Halo goodness to play. Is this a way to compensate for Halo Infinite not being on there? Maybe, but it's great to see that we're actually getting a bit of an update there for MCC. Currently, I'm enjoying the 120 frames on PC, which has been awesome. I'm glad that the console uh, crew of the Halo community as well get a chance to enjoy that on top of that. Now with the MCC, we have a new ranked playlist, Halo 3 Recon Ranked Slayer, but there's an interesting twist to this. You can unlock the Avalanche Sniper skin once you hit rank 20 within that playlist. You'll unlock this weapon camo as soon as Season 4 goes live, which would be when Halo 4 gets released on PC. I'm assuming around November 17th, probably around there, maybe a week before, maybe a week after, right around there. As you can see from this image, it's a pretty subtle camo, but it's actually just a really nice kind of geometric kind of additional colors kind of added to the sniper rifle for additional customization for Halo 3 for you guys to check out as well. My only concern is, am I gonna be able to find enough games of Halo 3 Recon Rank Slayer to actually get a chance to even hit rank 20? Because right now I'm ranked like 13 or 14 with Halo 3 Hardcore, the most popular ranked mode, and I can't find any games. Incentives like this that get people to play ranked modes in the MCC is perfect. That's exactly what we would need to do to get people to jump in and play, because right now ranked is Kind of dead on the MCC. You can find social games just fine, but not very people are grinding out the ranks. So if you can hit rank 20, then recon's ranked Slayer, you get this camo. That's something really cool. And I'd like to see that 
more incentivized with other playlists as well. Now for the leaked MCC season four information, guys. Now we do know we're getting GRD and we're getting the XO armor pieces and things like that, which is really cool. Cut content originally from Reach coming back into the game. That's freaking awesome. But we recently had some awesome people dive into the files of the flight right now. We get some interesting information about Halo Infinite armor coming into the MCC. So let's check it out right here. So many people have gone to Reddit to post up these different images. So let's check it out right here, guys. You can see that we actually have the Mark 7 Gen 3 helmet is gonna be coming to Halo 4 in the next season for MCC, guys. And you can tell that it is the same helmet that we've seen from like Halo Infinite. Because if we check out this image right here, guys, you can see that helmet looks quite familiar. As you can tell right there, that's uh, that's basically the same helmet. It's coming to the MCC, so it's really cool to see if we're gonna actually get some Halo Infinite quality armor put into the game. And uh, this must have been like the redacted uh, parts that they were talking about in the previous updates. I thought it was just like the G GRD that they were talking about, but. I'm assuming this is the content, but this is not the only content that's looking to be parted, added into season four for the MCC. You can actually see the entire Gen 3 Mark 7 armor right here. This is straight up from the game. This is gonna be put into Halo 4, guys. Like they found this in the files for MCC. I would totally expect to see this happen for Halo 4, which would be probably my favorite armor set in the game. This looks freaking awesome. And I'm really excited to see this coming into the MCC. And for some leaked armor sets that are going to be added in, hopefully for season four here, we have the Gremlin code name right here. This is a new helmet that looks like it's going to be part of Halo Reach as well. It's kind of like kind of like the GRD kind of style, but a little different. But it's like a additional kind of variation of like the JFO kind of helmet, if I remember correctly. That's the, that's the correct naming for it. But that's really interesting to see. We actually have some more Reach armor. So we have probably some new Halo 3 content, some Halo 4 content, and Halo Reach content. All about it added into here guys so this is pretty exciting stuff and additionally it looks like we're going to have some halo online content coming into the mcc they did allude to this and i believe in the september or maybe the august update Talking about how possibly adding in some halo online content into the mcc well it's looking like it's going to do just that this image right here kind of showcasing the different kind of <laughs> they call it the el dorado i guess maybe to kind of hopefully get people off of the scent but you can see that there are armor customizations for halo 3 online being added into halo 3's options for customization guys uh this is really exciting this, knowing this possibility could we see some halo online maps coming in eventually that would be freaking awesome. Some additional customization. But overall, really exciting stuff knowing that this is some kind of possibility that we could have for the MCC, guys. Again, if we get some more content coming in, I'll definitely make some videos on it. We'll definitely be making videos on the season four content, let you all know what's going on with the MCC. And lastly, some really cool news, guys. You can get Halo 5 for free right now for going to try to get your double XP awesomeness through Monster Energy Drinks. Uh, right here, I actually saw a tweet saying that a free copy of Halo 5 Guardians on the Xbox One when you make Monster X Halo giveaway account via Monster's website. And I saw multiple people confirm this. Like this is a, apparently this just happened. Um, I mean, I signed up right away and I didn't see this come up, but apparently it's like a new thing that may have happened for October. Maybe just for the celebration of the five years when it comes to Halo 5 this month. And so uh, if you guys have any chance to play Halo 5, now's the time to do it, if any time really. Uh, the multiplayer in the game is great. Campaign, eh, you could use some work, but you know, for overall, getting a free game for just making an account, that's pretty freaking awesome. Of course, we all know the Halo 4 flight is currently going on right now, but it's not flawless. So our next video, we'll be making all the known issues when it comes to Halo 4's flighting process, guys. So stay tuned throughout that one to know what to look out for if you get jump in to play some Halo 4 flighting greatness. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.